welcome to the third annual Nonprofit Summit, sponsored by the Greater Wilkes Barre Chamber of Commerce and CDS Creative. The Nonprofit Summit is a gathering of executives and board members and people that work for nonprofits wanting to know more about what's going on in their industry. It's hard for them to go to other conferences, so we bring all the, the speakers here, and there's lots of different topics. There's four different tracks this year. An advanced track that talks about marketing and communications. Another advanced track that talks about operations and technology. A third one is a, a boot camp for people that are just starting out in their nonprofits. And this year we added a diversity track. More and more of our populations are changing, and we need to be able to reach out in appropriate ways. So we have a complete diversity track this year too. I spoke today about the diversity here in this part of Pennsylvania because it's very important to understand the difference between those who are foreign born and immigrants and those who have lived in the United States, been born in the United States and are part of it. And one of the difficulties we have with nonprofits is bringing the two populations together. Very often the newly arrived, the foreign born, are not as acquainted as they should be with the situation and the society and its institutions. And on the other hand, those that are young and are eager to participate in professional life need jobs. So by matching those two resources together, I think this part of the state of Pennsylvania can grow and grow well with the nonprofit sector. The table topics were uh, something that we came up with two years ago because people wanted to be able to network more at lunchtime. So the table topics take one specific topic like strategic planning or like uh, PANO, the Pennsylvania Association of Nonprofit Organizations. And people gather, they grab their lunch, they gather at the table, and they really just sit and talk about how they've used that organization, what it means to them. It's a real great way to make some connections with other nonprofit organizations in the community. Uh, today we talked about the Northeastern Pennsylvania Nonprofit and Community Assistance Center and uh, the services that NCAC offers to nonprofit and community groups throughout North, Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, one of the hottest topics recently has been energy and what our nonprofit center can do to help people find uh, funding programs for energy related uh, initiatives including building upgrades, green, green initiatives and uh, energy demand reduction and fuel expenses increasing o over the recent year. Uh, we've been helping uh, many groups find different opportunities to help them reduce their energy demand and uh, implement cost-saving measures at their organizations. Well, today we were talking about how to maximize uh, exposure in terms of newspaper, radio, television, and the internet. And it was really great to be able to sit down with such great organizations and uh, try to help them in this climate today, which makes it so much more difficult to find exposure for uh, nonprofit organizations, many of whom do such great work. Uh, so hopefully today uh, we were able to have the kind of discussion that will really be able to produce some good results for these organizations. We had a special table topic this year called blog, blog, blog. Uh, basically, nonprofits are asking the question, should we have a blog? If we do, how do we do it? How often do we do it? Who does it? All of those kinds of questions. So this year, we asked the folks at Solid Cactus to come in and do a panel discussion about blogging. What is it? How do you use it? Why would you use it? And they actually did a demonstration during the panel discussion of how easy it is to set up a blog. So that was a well-attended and fun kind of table topic, a little bit different. And we'll probably do something like that again next year. A blog is a fantastic way for nonprofit organizations to, to promote 
their organization. Um, basically, it's a hub of communication to educate, inform, and maybe even entertain their membership, their potential donors, even their staff, employees, and volunteers about what the organization is doing, what they're doing next, what they've done in the past. Um, you know, it's a great way to promote an upcoming event. You know, you can let them know when uh, registration is on one post. Maybe follow that up with a, hey, you only have two more weeks to register for this. Or, um, create another post about we need more volunteers and then follow up with the event with maybe some pictures of how the event turned out, how much money was raised. So it's something you can update several times a week to constantly let the community know. It's kind of like putting your finger on the pulse of your organization. So, so it's really, I think it's just a really great way to keep the communication lines open with the general public, the community and even the world.